In this video, we're going to talk about the risks of buying and selling accounts. Even though buying and selling of accounts is against the terms of service, there are a lot of players who still do it. Most message me about losing access to their account when it's already too late, so I wanted to make this video to at least help prevent a few people from losing their accounts. Whenever you're buying an account, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that there is no way for you to know for sure that the seller does not have access to the same account. In a lot of games, whenever you log into an account, they don't ask you for any login details. You can access the account directly. This means that even if you share your login info with other players and then they change the email that it's bound to, you'll still be able to access your account by simply opening the game. As long as you don't switch to another account on your device, you won't lose access. The same applies to whenever you buy an account from someone else. If they never log out of their account on their device, they can always access the account at any time. This also means that someone can wait a week or two or even longer than that after selling you an account to try and get it back from you. Unfortunately, there is no way to tell for sure that the seller does not have access to their account because even if they prove that they logged out of their account on one device, they could always have multiple other devices including their PC or laptop where they're still logged into their account. So whenever you're buying an account, you need to make sure that you really trust the seller because the risk of the seller taking back the account from you is unavoidable. And there's not much that you can do to regain control over your account once that happens. Whenever someone complains to GM about losing their account, GM will usually ask them for their first and last purchase receipts to prove that the account is actually theirs. So you'd also want to ask the seller for a screenshot of their first purchase receipt from the game. So that if the seller tries to reclaim the account, you can at least get the account permanently banned so that they don't scam anyone else. But it's also good to have the first purchase receipt just in case your account gets unbound for some reason. Or if you lose access to your account, then it'll allow you to recover your account. Now, obviously, there's almost no way to verify whether the receipt that the seller is giving you is actually of the first purchase or not. So if they're trying to scam you, they're probably going to give you a fake receipt. When it comes to selling your account, you need to be aware that a lot of times the buyer can charge back or dispute the payment and receive a full refund for the amount that was paid to you. This can be done all the way up to 120 days after the payment was made, so even if you get the money, you're still not safe. The best thing you can do is to not log out of your account on your device even after receiving the payment for a few months. This will allow you to recover your account at any time in case of a chargeback, even if the buyer binds the account with another email address. Unfortunately, you'd still be forced to share the account with the buyer, or it could be even worse, the buyer could have sold the account to someone else before charging back the amount, now scamming two people instead of one. A lot of players might turn to sites that facilitate these trades by acting as an intermediary between the buyers and sellers. Unfortunately, a lot of these sites also cannot be trusted and I'd suggest checking out a bunch of reviews online for the site that you're going to use before you actually use it, because they could very well be scamming both buyers and sellers. So the moral of the story is that trading accounts is extremely risky as there is no safe way to do so. The black market is filled with scammers, so in the end it's you who has to decide whether you're willing to take the risk or not. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.